Hello. UnionLogic uses a system of structs to reference and create tags within a program. Structs are a collection of different tag data types, which can also be thought of as a folder of tags. There are four different types of structs within UnionLogic. The first type are system data tag structs. These types of data tags reference or use system data within the Unistream such as predefined frequency bits or real-time clock information. The next type are automatically created structs. These structs are created in Unilogic when you add elements and configurations to your project. This includes hardware structs for I.O. and COM modules. This also includes communication structs such as Modbus and CanOpen, as well as function structs such as data tables and PID configurations. The third type are timer structs. They have their own dedicated structs that reference all timer data types. And the fourth type are user-defined structs. These structs are defined by the user within the program. They are helpful since they can save programming time by referencing a predefined set of data types. They can then be created and reused throughout the program as necessary. For example, if my application is working with elevators that have three bits for sensors, three bits for floor buttons, and one integer for weight is easy to create this instance for this information. It is then quick and easy to then assign this set of information to a set of data tags. To utilize these tags within a struct in the logic or on the HMI, a user can select the desired struct, then select the desired tag within a struct. Thank you.